We're supposed to find a switching circuit that's equivalent to this one, Q or R or S. Um, that should connect Q, R, and S with an OR statement. That's what these uh, Vs represent, Q or R or S. This one says Q, R, S connected to an AND statement. So there we go. We can eliminate one of them. Don't even consider that one anymore. It's got one part wrong. Q, R, S are connected to an OR. Uh, Q, R, S connected to an AND. So that one's out. QRS connected to an OR. So there's only two left. And then immediately after, whatever the result is from this, it's supposed to be negated. So not operator has to happen. So QRS or not. This one's doing the right thing. QRS or not. So we've got all this covered so far in the ones that we have. And so uh, the result of this, of this path, is supposed to be connected to an AND statement to P and to T. So the result of that path we just talked about is supposed to be connected to uh, an AND statement with a P and a T. So this one's good. It's, uh, all three of those are connected by an AND statement. P and T are connected to the result with an AND statement. They're both good. Look, the only difference is a 1 or a 0. So that means we just need to go through the circuit with these particular values. So one, we pass on a 1 with P, Q or R or S. There is one of these that is true, so we're going to pass on a 1 here. But then it gets negated, so that means we pass on a zero. Then we got a one we're passing on. The AND statement says all three of these need to be true. And since one of them is false, the result should be a zero, not a one. So that's why this is the correct selection.